Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtutoy channel. So today, uh, this run I'm going to do slightly different. Um, just a quick run through of the recent um, Tarmac Works BMW M3 E30. Because uh, pretty much in a very short run of a couple of months, they release um, these four Japan exclusive uh, models. And uh, end of last year, there was the two Macau exclusive um, ones as well. That was actually a collaboration with uh, Kamachi, which is uh, one of the team that runs um, BMW um, for Macau GP. And uh, so I'm going to start with these first because I really like uh, what they've done with this with a white team uh, for the Kamachi team. Um, so two specific models were made for them, the 1991 um, version which is drove by Charles Kwan and then also the 1989 version which is uh, also to actually celebrate the 30th anniversary last year in 2019 so that too uh, came in the uh, white packing like that so I really like that uh, white overall white feel to it it really makes this model stand out because I think this I uh, yeah, it's it's one of the older casting from from Ignition Mod oh, from Ignition Mod sorry from Time It Works. So uh, yeah, it's it's uh, nice to see it again, but uh, a little bit of a spam. Um, suddenly, you know, so many models of this E thirty. Still a very nice casting from from Time It Works. Okay, then after that, um, these two were actually released during the uh, Tokyo Auto Salon in January this year. It was being sold exclusively there and then later on it was made available on um, the website as well. So these came with a slightly different kind of packaging. Um, they were black and red uh, because this one is a collaboration model with uh, TK Company. So that's why you will see TK Company and Time It Works logo on this even underneath. So these four were actually um, yeah, Japan exclusive. So these two was at the event and the other two was uh, released later on very recently. So as usual still, all of them come with the uh, limited edition card. Okay, all right. So this was actually um, when I did a bit of my research, uh, this, this two was ran in um, Japan touring. This, the white ones, Team Kamachi, they actually ran those BMWs in uh, Macau GP, while these two uh, Japan exclusive right, was actually ran in uh, uh, Japan Touring Car Championship JTCC in uh, 1992 and then 1991, um, both times being Div Division Two champions. So this is actually also something different from um, the rest of the casting. Check out the wing at the back. So this is actually slightly different. So I'm not sure of the full details. Uh, it could be it could be because you know under JTCC, um the rules on the bodywork is slightly different. Hence they can actually add that scoop at the back. And um. Yeah, then this was this car was actually ran by Kagani Racing. Uh, when I did a search, Kagani Racing, I think they're no longer around because I found some uh, another company with the exact same name, Kagani Motorsports, uh, which they are actually based out of uh, based in Malaysia. So I don't think they are the same thing. Yeah, so for this one, the Autotech version, this was actually. Um, I think tuned by Snitzer run by Autotech, Team Autotech. The real car is still around. Um, when I did the search, it's uh, actually currently located in Australia. I think it's uh, part of a collectible. Yeah, one-to-one -one scale collectible. <laughs> so this, like I said earlier on, this is actually one of the nicer casting from Tarmac. I think the way it sits, the body, um, yeah, the way it sits on on the base, the wheels, the rims, 
all the little details on it. That is actually very, very nice. So I'll do a little close up of the front, that iconic kidney grill. And this one has that Bridgestone branding right up front. So this is a single seater. And this one, yeah, we can see, you see the interior, the gear lever, you can see it so clearly. Look at that detail. Nice, very nice. Okay, that was the uh, the first two Japan exclusive, and then we had this two very recently. Um, yeah, I always have trouble pronouncing this, <laughs> so I don't think I'll try on this one. <laughs> I like again, I like that white um white car with the uh, BMW colors. That's actually very nice. So this is another uh, circuit version the DT, um dtm this was actually raised in dtm in 1986 yes those bbs wheels sitting on uh i think it's a potenza branding on the wheels check that out nice very nice Okay, and then out of all these um, models so far, because I I didn't co I didn't collect all of the M trees from Tarmac, um, I I'm making a guess that this is actually the first rally version of the E thirty, and honestly speaking, I did not know that there are people who actually ran E thirty for um in rallies back in the day. So this was actually 1986, 1987, and it was the winner for Tour de Corsair. I think that's how you call it. So one of the key differences, this one has the number plates up front. Okay, up front and the back. Yep, street legal. And it has that GPS antenna. Yep. So this one... My understanding is, uh, I kind of I kind of find it strange, uh, and I kind of hope that Tarmac would also include the team names in here. So I'm not sure why they only put the driver names, and uh, they don't put the team names on it. So this one, my understanding, the team name is actually uh, Rothman's Motul Racing. Yeah, for license reasons, I, I, I think that's why they don't put the name Rothmans in here. But, uh, yeah, okay. is that is that really a Rothman logo? I think it is. It definitely looks like it. And um, out of the six models here, right, this is the only one with uh, two seats, which uh, kind of makes sense. Well, circuit racing, you don't need... You don't need um, two seats, you just need one. In rally, you definitely need two for your co-driver. I really like um, the, the proportions. I think they are spot on. Yes. Then, um, yeah, because it's a rally version, that's why this one has that um, gravel design on the base. Okay, check out that ass with the tow hook down there. That's very nice. Is there a tow in front? No. You can see the M3 logo as well. That's very, very nice. Okay, cool. So I will be taking some close-up photos of these guys and um, putting them on my Instagram. Remember to, fo remember to follow me there, virtutoys.mj. Remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my awesome diecast videos. Alright, thank you very much for watching guys. Bye.